basically on this side we have lots and lots of pontoon that belongs to the marina uh, summer is the season where everybody wants to rent them there's a lot of little boats here that looks like as if they've been abandoned but they're not like this one lots of this 20 22 footer just hanging out I've never seen anybody on them collecting mold and mildew I don't know there's a bunch of uh, more pontoons this is a nice boat right here looks have been uh, looks like uh, the owner well maintained looks like about the size of mine this one is kind of a strange one looks like it's a 30 footer but the middle section is really huge looks like as if it's it's pregnant and we're heading to um, my boat there this one is also nice the owner shows up now and again lots of this boat just needs some good scrubbing she is a really nice boat oh wow in its in its uh, day must must be really pretty but the teak that's why i don't like teak i guess too much maintenance but can you imagine this boat at its uh, glory glory days must be pretty um, this these two boats i think is yeah this one is the 35 this one is really nice I was looking for a 30 or 35 but if I this would be a really nice liverboard boat and here's my boat right there the first thing I did was get a top and put it over it that helps with the leaks oopsie so the weather's getting nice and you can see people starting to go out come out to fish at night people are fishing also you see the barge over there at night on weekends there be a lot of people having a good time bonfire and fishing and here's my boat let's take a look inside time shall we all right let's have a tour of the boat um we start at the very back or it's called the stern of the boat I have an outboard motor a Honda 9 horsepower it works great does the job and as you this is the cockpit I've got my my rudder here that I it's called a rudder tiller I guess and on this side we have a small compartment for storage and on the left side right here underneath also storage for the gas for the motor and under here there's a big storage really huge really deep you can put all kind of stuff in here On each side of the cockpit, there's a small compartment for your little things to store. I just have some cleaning items and some rags in there. And as you look forward or to the bow of the boat, you see the companionway or the entrance or the door. And on each side they have a teak wood handheld handle right here which is nice I just have to make it looks pretty it used to that's what it looks like when I bought it even the companion way but I already uh, restore them a little bit I need to finish it all um, and to get inside I'll show you how we get inside Let's push this forward take one out take another section out 
and voila, we're in business. Let's go back, let's go in now. Well, as soon as you get in, on my left hand side, or I should say, the port side, is we have a little galley, and uh, you got a sink, kitchen sink, and underneath here we have a cooler. Put some ice, and then uh, we'll cool all day. I have a little stove, and underneath there's uh, some drawers. I don't have. I have them out right now because I'm restoring them. And I have a place to hang my banana and my sweater. Let's take this out. And we have a settee. And I also have my renewable energy, solar powered night light there. Works great. Uh, you have a place, a little shelving here to put all your snacks and whatnot. Underneath this settee, there's two compartments for storage. And as you look forward, that's my heater, which is nice. I got that from Walmart for, uh, well, the original price was $95. Basically, $95, $99, something like that. But I know, but it's been sitting on the Walmart shelf for weeks and weeks and months. They have a whole lot of them too, and it's not moving. I used to work at Target, and I know how it works. As soon as winter season's gone, this thing's gonna be on sale. And I uh, keep checking on them, and lo and behold, one day they're no longer on the shelf, they're in the clearance shelf for 50% off. So I got it for $49, $49. It's nice. So you can use it just as uh, as a heater there's two setting for a heater and uh, for this small boat it keeps the small boat warm and uh, you don't have to use it for a heater you can just use it for display like that and the uh, the colors of those fake uh, fake uh, fireplace can change it comes with a remote control and i can change the color if you want there you go that's changing colors oops Oops, it's, it's decided to froze, freeze. There you go. And again from the back, looking aft, right there is the aft berth. Berth is basically bed. And uh, you can see. Right now I use this place, uh, in winter time I use this place uh, to sleep in. It's very comfortable. Uh, I decided to use this place because the heater is right here and uh, it works nice. And, when it, and that blanket there is an electric blanket too. So when it's really cold I just plug it in and it, I'm toasty underneath there. So... What's there? Um, I have, uh, and on the side, my bed, I have some storage area, some bins that I use for storage. All the way back, it's still leaking. I need to, I need to figure it out. That's why I took all the stuff out because I want to figure out what's uh, where's the leak coming from. But it's just minute. And looking on this side, 
we have a settee or a bench underneath this bench also uh, right there underneath there is the water tank and underneath here is a battery compartment I don't have a battery in here um, as you can see I have all the woods that I was restoring I just brought them back in and I'm going to install them afterwards so let's walk forward oh. before we move on I have a mystery that I want to share with you I haven't figured it out maybe you guys can I picked this up I've been in uh, I've been in manufacturing for a long time as an industrial engineer I picked this one up at Walmart regular price two dollars fifty cents very nice shoe or more casting I should say nice material made in China brought all the way to United States most probably goes through a couple of distribution center before it ends up in Walmart North Carolina for two dollars fifty cents how do they do that if you guys can figure it out please let me know plus I do use this moccasin inside because the floor is quite chilly quite cold I guess with the water and everything so walking barefoot is not very pleasant so I use this moccasin whenever whenever I'm inside here so let's move forward as soon as you get in on the right on the right hand side is basically the head area and underneath here there should be a porta potty the porta potty is right here I took them out um, because the panels I took the panels out and uh, I'm gonna reinstall that in a little bit and there's some place for you to hang your clothes and stuff but that's not very ideal I have to fix that and looking to the right hand side oh is it right left i don't know anymore right hand side you get a sink a little shelf for whatnot and underneath there'll be a compartment for your um, for storage there'll be there's a panel here that I took out and I will reinstall that in a little bit. And here is the V bus, another bed. Normally you use this as your bed, but right now I'm using this for my storage. Um, because winter time is pretty cold. Um, so it's quite comfy. So I have uh, all my storage bins here and here's the porta potty and we have a hatch that you can open up and look forward so what's up there so basically at the very front or the very bow bow of the boat there's another another hatch this is actually for your anchor so if you do have an anchor, this is where you store them. I don't have an anchor and uh, right now it's empty. So, let's go back down. Okay, let's walk back forward or to the to the to the stern here is the v bus i'm gonna turn around sink some storage and for uh, your porta potty and some storage at the back basically this is the bathroom area and if you walk forward here's a settee a bench another bench your little galley bed and 
you walk out to the cockpit and that's my all-purpose bucket for cleaning so I can get water from the lake and uh, clean stuff up so that's it that's how my boat looked like guys thank you for Thank you.